know that you're a phoenix, so rise up from all those ashes today. Yeah, you were scarred, but you a czar. You can call to the grave. I know you know that a lion's inside, sleeping in your heart. Step back and remember who you what up, Pride? It's your boy Amari, back again with another reaction video. Today, we're getting into another Funny Moments compilation video by BTS. The boys are hilarious, and I fortunately, or maybe unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, have only gotten so far into the Run BTS reactions on my Patreon. So a lot of their auxiliary content outside of music I haven't reacted to yet, which makes these videos great because I usually don't know what's going to happen. So I'm excited to get into another one of these. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. If you're new here, definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I have a lot more BTS reactions on the channel and on Patreon, as I've mentioned before. So definitely make sure to check those out on the channel in the BTS playlist and hit that subscribe button not to miss out on any future reactions like this. But without further ado, let's get into this and I'll be seeing all of you guys on the other side. <laughs> okay, two things real quick. I, I know we just started, but I, I got questions already. One, the, that scene of JK beatboxing and Jimin looking at the camera like it was an episode of The Office. What, did, what is that? Are, are they, I feel like that's them warming up for a show, obviously, of some kind, right? I think that was JK beatboxing, um... What, yeah, by Usher and, and Lil John and Ludacris. Yeah, yeah. Um, which also, I, I feel more justified in thinking it's that because now JK has like worked with Usher. I'm assuming that, that clip is like predates the whole JK working with Usher thing, but I don't know for sure. Um, but regardless, the uh, that clip, what is going on there? Because it, it seemed a bit chaotic. Two, the, the intro right after that, where somebody's getting chiseled out of ice. What is that? Like, I just, I have questions already. I'm confused. I'm not going to lie. I just, I just want to know what's, what's happening. So if you got information, comment section down below. Let me know. Um, let's talk about the BTS army. These fans, uh, you guys know, they're pretty insane. I'm about to beat this bitch up. You big fat white man, smelling fat bitch. What's your name? All right, all right. I promise I'm not gonna stop every 50, 11, 7, 9, 12 seconds. Uh, but w what? W I feel like I'm justified in my what? What? What the fuck? Like what? Where was that even go? What? I need the full clip. Give me the, give me the full information. Either either post the link down below. Tell me what happened. Where was that question lead? Like, what, what was the end result of that question? What did the boys say? I have so many questions. How, who starts a question like that? Like, I don't even think that that's, that person is obviously Western, right? That's not a Korean. Because uh, the Koreans are more respectful than that. But I, I don't even think that's like a cultural difference. I don't, I don't think like you would, Nobody would ask Beyonce like, "Hey, what's up with your fans? They're they're kind of crazy." Like that's 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 dumb. Why why what we what are we doing here? I don't, I I can't even like laugh appropriately at at the at the ha ha's on screen. Um, there was like some type of writing on screen. I'll go back and I'll see it uh, because I was so shooketh that like he he started a question like that. He didn't even get to the point. It, I don't know what the point of that was or where that could have led that would make that intro to a question make sense, but it's, that's kind of wild. Like, what did you expect them to say? Like, oh yeah, the people give their blood, sweat, and tears to support us. They're so crazy. Like, what, huh? Like, huh? 
I don't know if that person went to journalism school. I definitely didn't. But I feel like they didn't teach that in journalism school. I feel like that, that's something that he might have learned on Twitter or something. Um, yeah. We're going to get back into it. But I just, I need extra context. I, I need to know how the boys reacted and what the rest of that question was. Because just that clip right there is wild. Insane. <laughs> I'm about to beat this bitch up. You big, fat, white, nasty, smelling, fat bitch. What's your name? My name is Brother Dean. Justin Seeker. Junkman. Junkman. Yeah. Hey, my name is Jay Cook. Jay Cook. Jay Cook. Jay Cook. Who wants that to do? What's your name? Cornelia Parapio. <웃음> 뭐 어제도 연습했고 아나 아직도 그 가사가 할걸 미치겠어 등골 그릴 거가 오우 쉣 오? 보세요 이네 공개 됐겠지? 아무튼 <웃음> 아니 이제 더 하면 진짜 안될것 같으니까 네. 저희가 한두 시간 정도 그래. 우리 되게 자세히 아직 얘기하지. 그게 안 나갔지 그 우리가 네. 추가 얘기하는 게 장소가 안 나갔지 그 공개 공개 안 됐지 그거 하는 거 맞지? 무슨 소리 하는지 아, 아무튼 공개 안 했다면 이제 말안 하는 게 좋으니까 네. 아무튼 뭐, 아니 뭐, 우리가 뭐, 추가 뭐, 얘기를 뭐, 한그 뭐, 장소에서 뭐, 한그 스케줄이 공개 안 됐잖아요 뭔지 모르겠어 아, 무슨 얘기 하는지 전 진짜 모르겠어 아니 우리 휴가 하긴 했었잖아요 거기서 오케이 그렇다고 합시다 아 미치겠네 어, 아니 그럴 수도 있죠 안된거 같아요 그지 안 됐겠지 그렇게 네, 기억을 못 하는 거지 오케이 A couple thoughts. One, what was that? I don't know if you guys have ever seen the, the show Silent Library, but it's like where they like play pranks on each other, but try to stay under a certain volume level while in a library. That's kind of what the, the smacking each other on the knee thing reminded me of. I don't know if they were like in a closet or whatever, but that and the scene after that where they were like making little noises while like reading some papers or whatever, that kind of reminded me of Silent Library. What is that? I want to see that whole thing because that was hilarious. Also, I had no idea that RM 
his last name was technically Holland because that just reminded me of watching Tom Holland with the MCU like constant and Mark Ruffalo constantly like spoiling stuff and then being like, oh, 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 crap. I didn't I wasn't supposed to say that. I'm so sorry. And the way that Jimin. I, first off, I love that it was Jimin in both of those clips and his reaction to RM when he's spoiling the stuff is exactly like how the other actors in the MCU react to Mark Ruffalo and Tom Holland when they spoil stuff. It's like, ooh, you in trouble. You're not supposed to say that. And just like watching RM's brain turn. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I did something wrong. Um, I didn't know that like like BTS had stuff that couldn't be spoiled. Like I didn't, when I was reading the, the subtitles, I didn't think he was like saying anything that was like that spoilery. You know, like, it's not like he was, like, giving away the plot, so to speak. But, um, yeah, like, like Mark Ruffalo literally said in an interview that everybody dies at the end of, uh, I think, Infinity War. He was like, oh, everybody dies. And like, people thought he was being dramatic. The dude literally spoiled the entire movie. Uh, and I guess I did, too. But the movie's, like, I don't know, what, seven, eight years old at this point? So, I, if you haven't seen it by now, you probably weren't planning on watching it. But, um yeah, I didn't like that's that's a massive spoil. That's a big deal. Somebody spoiled the the ending with with Iron Man to me before the movie. I fought that person. This doesn't seem like a a, a fight that person kind of spoiler time right now, right? But I guess it was. So again, for context, because. I haven't seen any of these clips. I'm not that far into Run BTS. And I don't even know that all of these clips are from Run BTS. The one with RM and Jimin seems like a V-Live type situation. Whatever the case may be, I haven't seen, like, basically any of these clips. So I don't know the, the context behind them. So if you have additional context on why that was spoilers and why that's, like, a big deal. Um, not why spoilers are a big deal, but why, like, those specific comments were a big deal. Please leave that in the comment section down below because I would like to be in the loop. I'm not educated right now, but it, you could change that. So do me a favor. Please do that for me in the comment section down below. Anyway, BTS merch. Let's continue. Mama, yeah. so it's got so many hashtags in Twitter. So I heard that you know, like every mama, <laughs> your mama's gonna be the Twitter top track every year. So how's how's how about this year? Good, good, thank you. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
<웃음> 오, 오, 이거, 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 Okay, before I have a panic attack over RM holding a knife, uh, something has been has been gnawing at my brain this this whole time, and I, it's it's distracting me. What was up with the with the camera woman screaming when Jimin walked out with his shirt off? Like not not why did she scream? I that computes to my brain. Who was that? I'm assuming that's not their normal camera person. If if she reacting to him being shirt, like their normal camera people would see them shirt, they go swimming and stuff, right? Like they they do that in like Bon Voyage and Run PC. They, they what happened? What why was what was that person new? What was the, like they, clearly? I think it was J.K. who was like, "Oh, you're enjoying yourself too much." Whatever it was, that person that person got paid twice that day. Let me put it that way. Um, but why? I feel like I feel like they would, if that person consistently works for them, they would be desensitized. If that person doesn't work for them, who's that behind stage when they're coming off stage uh, to be to be filming that? I'm curious. It's been, it's been on my brain. Another thing that's been on my brain, and then I'm I'm gonna get back to trying not to have a panic attack. I I think RM has all ten of his fingers, but the whole time I'm watching that, I'm gonna be worried. Um, Another thing that was like on my brain was uh, JK dancing at the award show in front of that girl group. And then I think it panned to Tay dancing in front of the, the girl group, whatever. Uh, I remember you guys telling me like back when I first got into BTS that the way that BTS was at award shows was different than how most idol groups were. Uh, given that clip, I'm, I'm thinking you guys were like, oh, they were less like serious and uptight, which was either good or bad, like people really, either really liked it because it was more authentic or people really didn't like it, it was like controversial or whatever. I don't know, I don't remember, I don't remember, but I just remember that you guys, like that brought back to my brain that you guys said that they were different at award shows than a lot of other groups are at award shows. And there was some reaction from the public due to that. And so I'm just trying to say enough that hopefully you, it jogs your guys' brains on what it is I'm trying to remember. And uh, you relay that information for me in the comment section. But I love seeing them, like, just spaz. And so them doing that at the award show, while that girl group who I don't know who that is, I'm not saying that they're not relevant or of, like, me mentioning that. I just don't, I don't know who it was. I couldn't see the girls' faces. And also, I haven't reacted to that many girl groups. So my girl group knowledge is is not that high but even if it was i couldn't even tell you how many members were in that group so i don't know what girl group that is but whatever girl group it was was kind of just like standing there you know normal and then they just pans to the boys like freaking out and stuff and um i liked it so yeah okay now to rm maybe needing a replacement finger please please don't cut yourself the fact that everyone right here is holding him and so intent on him cutting what I'm guessing is like an onion or, or something, uh, says a lot, okay? It says a lot. 
Also, they all reacted like me when this happened. What was up with this dude? What's, what's happening here that he felt the need to scare everybody, me and them, at the same time doing this? Why? I don't know what song that is or dance or whatever that that goes to, but I just, I wanted to be included. You see Tay dance and you start dancing. That's, that's a rule of law, I think. Intergalactic laws and stuff. Outro time. Okay, yeah, I really like that video. I thought that they edited it, ed, edited it, it, it she, I can't talk. I thought the editing on the video was good. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. Um, and I like how they like added the little sound effects and zoom ins and like, you know, craziness when, uh, I don't know who it was. Somebody was like holding like a, a big old fish or something at the beach. Uh, they like pointed at it and it went off red and shake. You know, they they, were, they added their little little editor's touch on it. I think they did their thing. Uh, I can't see which channel uh, created this video at the moment, but whoever did, shout out to them. They did a really good job. And um, most of the clips were just funny in and of themselves uh, without needing context. I feel like I was laughing harder at the initial part of the video. Like the first two thirds of the video were just absolutely bonkers, hilarious. And the last like third of the video, I was trying to like kind of figure out what the clips were. But as someone who has never seen those clips and don't have context on the like greater situation going on in those clips, I was still able to laugh a lot, which is hard to do in these videos. So I think they did a good job. Overall, really funny. The boys are hilarious per usual. Definitely enjoyed this video a lot. Thank you so much for being here. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share not to miss any more content like this. Like I said, I have a bunch of BTS reactions on the channel, so definitely make sure to check those out and a bunch more coming in the future. So hit subscribe not to miss any of those. But you guys have a great day, and I'll be seeing all of you here on the channel next time. Peace. Sit back, don't stress, don't stress. Life is too short for you to drive inside nightmares. Stuff will all align, so be compressed. You just keep back, you got no worries. If you wanna let the ride.